Hello everybody, I hope you're keeping well and surviving this lockdown. It's pretty terrible really. Uh, I think a week feels like a month already, but it's been fantastic to phone people and hear how you're all getting on and helping each other out. Talking of helping each other out, I'd like to thank uh, Danny and his team from uh, Taka who have set up together for Temple Patrick. So if you have any uh, need of food or prescription or if you know of anybody who isn't being looked after, please do contact them and their information is on our Facebook page as well as probably being put through your door as well. I'd also just at the start like to thank our communications team, Lauren and Mandy, for all their hard work in helping keep us connected, especially for doing this newsletter and for the Facebook page. So please do look at that and share it and, and keep people in touch. So I think at this particular time, it's very, very easy to think that God is not seeing us and not hearing us. It's a bit like if you uh, remember the days when the shops were full, uh, when I used to go shopping in Tesco's and it's really crowded, because I'm short-sighted and long-sighted, I, I have to peer. I actually take my glasses off uh, to look for the food that I'm trying to get. And so I could quite easily walk past somebody I know quite well and they'd think, my goodness, what's wrong with him? He's ignoring me today. And they would feel quite hurt by that. So I'd have to say, sorry, it's just that I didn't see you. And quite often we think, we're not being seen or not heard and we're hurt. And we can think that the same with God. But I'd like to read to you a, a verse of scripture from Psalms uh, 139 that tells us a truth that we need to hear. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of the sand. Psalm 139. 17 to 18. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. We often worry that we're not thinking enough about God. Well, in fact, he's thinking about us all day long. Isn't that incredible? It's a bit like a parent thinking about a child or a grandchild or a relative or a friend. Uh, we don't know we're being thought about, but God is thinking about you and he hears your prayer and he hears your cry and he's answering them. And, uh, and he's answering them often through the love and care and concern of family and friends and neighbours and organisations and hopefully the family of the church too. I hope you enjoy our e-newsletter. I hope you enjoy the service and you enjoy seeing the articles we put on Facebook as well, that you find inspiration and encouragement. If you do need anything, please give me a phone call anytime, day or night. God bless and keep safe. Bye bye.